Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I explain to you my symptoms about this Dell that is not booting to Windows. And I hope that the symptom is the same as your computer so that we can troubleshoot together and get this thing resolved. All right, so here I have the Dell Inspiron 15. The model is 5566. Okay, and let me flip it over. In the back, here is the service tag. If you're not too sure what model that is, you can go to Dell service tag website, type it in and determine what model is your laptop. All right, so again, let me show you to you what happens to my computer here and what are the symptoms. When I try to turn on the computer, you can see that the Dell logo comes on and there's no spinning circle and it just stuck at the screen for a very long period of time and it doesn't boot into Windows. So I never get to see the Windows login screen. It just stuck here at the Dell logo. All right. So what I need to do is to troubleshoot to determine whether if it's the hard drive or something else. One way to do it is to power off your laptop, press and hold the power button. Go ahead and press again to turn on the laptop and hit F12. You see this F12 keyboard right here? So go ahead and start tapping onto F12 and you can see that on the top right corner, it says preparing one time boot menu on the top right corner. And you can see this little blue bar is loading up. So once you see that blue bar loads up, you can stop pressing the F12 and let's wait until the screen comes on. All right, here at the uh, mm -hmm. setup screen here, you can see those are the choices. What you can do is you want to go up to diagnosis. So go to the diagnostics section and press enter and it will bring you to the uh, diagnostic page from the Dell okay here it would ask you the question is do you see the display yes or no yes we can see the display so we go ahead and click yes So once the display is passed, right now it's running the test on the CD-ROM and you would go through the cycle like the hard drive, the RAM, the motherboard, CPU, things like that. So we'll wait until whatever the diagnostics result comes back to us. All right, it says that charger unable to detect. Would you like to continue? We're going to say yes. And the next step is it shows you here. It says hard drive zero. There's the zero number and it says short self test unsuccessful. All right. So let me try to pause it a little. It's too loud. Okay, so here is the error message. It says that the hard drive test has failed. Okay, so that actually determines why it is not booting to the Windows because the hard drive is not working correctly. So at this point, we have the confirmation, the result, and it says the hard drive had died or maybe failed, not completely dead. So what we can do is power off the laptop, press and hold the power button. Once the computer is shut off, and I'll show you where the hard drive is located. So if you turn it around, and we need to get to underneath this plastic here. So get your Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and open up the back panel here. But first you need to remove the two screws. And let's go ahead and pry it open. Okay. 
Okay, now here is the hard drive. And let's go ahead and remove the screws. Once you remove the four screws, let's go ahead and open up the clipper. So you need to flip open the white clipper right here. Once the clipper is open, you can slide the cable to your left to remove it. And now we can remove the entire hard drive just like that. Okay. Now, let me talk about what are your options right now. I know that if you have the same problem like I do, meaning that the hard drive failed or may have died, and let's talk about the option what you can do first option is you can get a replacement hard drive okay we can get a replacement hard drive meaning that we can change out this hard drive here meaning we can change out the hard drive to a solid state drive Okay, so I just pull that connector right here. This is the SETA connector. Since the hard drive is dead, one thing you can do is to buy a new solid state drive, an SSD drive. This is what I highly recommend. It boots a lot faster. It doesn't have the spinning disc like this old system. These are the old hard drive with the spinning disc on it. And the solid state drive, they run on a chipset a lot faster. Um, you can get them from Amazon. I'll link them in the description below. And you, once you install, once you have the new solid state drive installed, right? And you put the cable back in and all the screws back in together. Um, will the computer work, right? Let's say if we put everything back in together, if you're going to say like, is my computer going to work with the new hard drive? The answer is no, because the Windows is not installed yet in the new hard drive this is just a blank hard drive it doesn't have your information it doesn't have windows 10 or windows 11 in it so therefore it doesn't boot up now what i need to do is i'll walk you ahead of time i'll link them in the description below as well okay um and if you have any question comment below all right so what i'll do is i'll link how to make a bootable usb okay a bootable usb is I'll, I'll make a separate video for that because uh in in this video i can't show it to you but um, what you can do is you you need to have like at least an eight gigabytes usb you make it as a bootable windows installer so instead of using the disk you can um, make a usb installer for your windows okay assuming everything is installed a hard drive is changed right and then you're ready to uh load the windows go check out my other videos i'll link them in the description below where you need to make a bootable windows with the bootable windows you insert the usb here now you can install the windows into the new hard drive and therefore you would have a brand new laptop like a brand new windows on the uh, a brand new windows on a new hard drive okay i hope that makes sense to you all right now let's talk about option two you decided to retire the computer you do not want to fix it you just want the information right so how can i get the information off of this old hard drive one way to do it is you need to buy um, a SATA adapter and i'll show it to you all right so this would be the SATA adapter uh, you can get them from Amazon. I'll link them in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. So this, this SATA adapter here, what you can do is you can connect to your original old hard drive. And then you can connect this to the adapter, to your outlet, and this is to your new computer. So once you plug in the USB to the new computer, you can start have access to the old hard drive and pull the information like your documents, picture, things like that, you can start pulling off from the old hard drive. Hoping that the old hard drive still have a little bit chance to survive by running and able to access the data. 
some of the hard drive if it's clicking if you can hear the hard drive click 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 or beep 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 then that means the hard drive is totally not accessible uh, you may have to send it to the professional like a data recovery to recover those data but if you feel like the hard drive is spinning okay doesn't have those symptoms you can invest in this adapter here and try to pull the data off of the original hard drive all right so those are the two options i think most of the people are interested in is either to change the new hard drive get the usb installer here all right and then you know get going with with the windows or just buy a new laptop recover the information and move on so those are the symptoms i see when the computer doesn't turn up doesn't load the windows doesn't boot to the windows and more likely it would be the hard drive issue i hope that this video is helpful and i hope you learned something today if it does please give me a like and subscribe um other than that comment below i will try to answer those questions for you and until next time see you now bye